Okay, welcome back to the Geometry Final Review. This is part two of Standard 2. And we were working with this, and we just talked a little bit. If you want to see this, this is in the first part. Okay, now, let's see if the camera will focus in on this. We're going to talk a little bit about dilating. First, I want you to have an idea of how to dilate, what dilating from an outside point does compared to an inside point. I know it's not on the review sheet, but you need to understand this to understand dilation. Okay, here's our dilation point. They gave it to us. They said dilate to 3x or 300% using 2-1 as a point of dilation. So I know that I'm going to have to do this three times for each of my corners. There is a little shortcut, and I'll show you in a moment. So I start here, and I go, okay, I went over 1 and up 2. That's 1x. Over 1 and up 2, that would be 2x. Over 1 and up 2, that would be 3x. So there is my point. That's where this point ends up if I'm dilating from this point. Remember that flashlight idea, the shadow cast behind it. Okay, or in front is the case maybe. Okay, I'm going to do this point over here. Let's see, over 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. Over 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. That's 2x. Over 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. There's my 3x. And that's nice. I can see it's in line, and it should be because these two are in line. And this one is 3. So let's see if, what this one is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, I know if I'm going from, nine, from 3 to 9 that I've got a scale factor of 3, and that's what they wanted. Now, um, I'm going to make this shortcut here. I'm going to connect those. I know this side right here has to be three times as large. Well, it's going from two, so it's going to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's one, so it's going to be three. This one, so it's also going to be three. Another one, so over three, another down one, over one. And that's nice because it's in line. I know we've done this right. So here's my scale drawing. Okay. And it really does work like a flashlight is pointing, for example, this way, casting, hitting this, and casting a large shadow that's three times as big. Just like in the previous one, you'll see if I take the corresponding points, let's say here's one we haven't used, we'll take that one, here's another one, all of them line up at the point of dilation. Now, let's look at one from the inside of the shape. Now, this one wants you to use the origin. Remember that the origin is the center point. Okay, we're doing it 4x, so I'm going to do that. It's going to be a little tough on this one, but I'm going to try. Over, I'm going to start with this point right here. Over 2, up 2. That's 100%. I need to do it three more times. Over 2, up 2. Over 2, up 2. Over 2, up 2. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So this is the one I really want right there. Now, I'm going to use scaling to do the other, well, the other, I want to show you how to do this. Over two, down one. 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 How many have I done? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is the one I want right here. That makes sense. It's in, this one right here is in line with that one. So it's going to be in line there. And so I know the scale factor is 4. So the number of blocks right here is 1. So I'm going to go down 4. I'm going to go over 4, down 4, over 4. And now I've got OK, this side right here is 3. So I'm going to have to go over 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's going to line up with that corner. I'm going to need to go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Just like on that one. Okay, so... Okay. You can see that if I do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
going to speed it up just a little bit, just so I can show you. When I dilate from inside the figure, it basically expands out in every direction from the inside of the figure. When I dilate from the outside of the figure, it's going to push it over in a direction. Now we're ready to look at the one on your test, not your test, the review sheet. And it asks you to find the point of dilation. Well, I gave you a simple graphic way. I'm not going to use these points um, as much. I need another point. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to line those up because I know that this point right here lines up with that one. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick some points out here. Just this point right here goes with or corresponds to that one. So let's see what that gives us. Okay. This point right here corresponds to that one. So I'm lining up these two points. I'm trying to be very careful. And so it appears that my origin, my point of dilation is at the origin. Now, my ratio of dilation is just my scale factor. Now they told us it was going from large to small. I'm going to do it from small to large and then just flip it because that's easier for me. So I look here, this side right here is 2, and this is 2, 4, 6. This side here is 1, and this is 3. So I could think of it as 6 over 2, or 3 over 1. You know, that's going from smaller to larger. That's 3, that's 3. Um, the only thing that I have to do to uh, change direction on it, it doesn't change the point of dilation at all, is just go, okay, if it's, six to, if it's 6 over 2 going from smaller to larger, then it's going to be 2 over 6, or 1 third going from smaller to larger. So the scale factor here is going to be 1 third, or the ratio of dilation is going to be 1 third. I hope this helps some, and good luck with it.